Hey everybody, Eva Zacharia here, and this week's Weddings Made Easy DIY is edible. A delicious summer trifle that will be the star of any wedding related event. Plus, it's USA themed and I'm feeling a little bit patriotic. The supplies and ingredients are all listed on the blog, so let's get started. I prep my fruit the night before I put my trifle together. I wash two pounds of strawberries and two pints of blueberries in large bowls. Fill the bowls with water and then add the fruit. After 10 minutes, I drain in a strainer. You can also give them a rinse here. Repeat the process for a double wash on both. Here, I usually put the fruit in the bowl and then the water. After your second strain, you'll want to capture as much moisture as possible so that your fruit doesn't make your cake soggy. I lay a double layer of paper towels on a large baking sheet and spread out my fruit. I always prep more fruit than I will need since I know not everything will be usable and I can either enjoy or freeze my extras. Once the fruit is spread out, I give it a good wrap with plastic wrap and place it into the fridge. For tips on which other fruits to use in a trifle and which to avoid, check out my blog post. Build your trifle on the day of your event. If you are baking your own cake, do that the night before as well so that it can fully cool before you build your trifle. Just cut it into cubes. I'm taking the shortcut of using a store-bought angel food cake. The angel food cake is sticky, so I lay a sheet of wax paper over my cutting board to make cleanup easier. Cut your cake into cubes and put it back in the container while you prep the rest of your ingredients. The strawberries also need slicing. I use a piece of wax paper for this as well. I remove the leaves and cut them lengthwise. At this point, remove any overly ripe strawberries and cut out any bruises. Run your hands through the blueberries and remove any that are not ripe or are too soft. Take out the stems as well. One more thing before we put this together, with topping. I have a large zip top bag. You can use a piping tip as well, but I've found that this is a much cleaner way to add your whipped topping than using a spoon or spatula for the whole thing. Snip the corner and you're ready to go. Grab your trifle dish and start layering. You can do this any way you want, but this is my preferred method for the layers. First, a layer of cake chunks goes into the bottom. Then pipe in some whipped topping and go around the edges carefully. You can spread the center with the spoon. For the strawberries, I line them up facing the outside of the bowl for a nice visual effect. Fill in the middle with your extra strawberries. Add another layer of whipped topping and then a layer of blueberries. I place the blueberries around the outside carefully as well. And then I put the cake right on top of the blueberries before adding my final layer of whipped cream. It's okay if your whipped topping doesn't go all the way to the top of your trifle dish here. It just leaves some extra room for decorating. So take some of your leftover fruit and arrange it on the top nicely any way you want. You could do a heart, you could do someone's initial, you could do a star. I like to cover the whole top, so I'm going to put sliced strawberries and then a ring of blueberries and then some extra strawberries in the middle. Put a sheet of plastic wrap over the top of the trifle and put it into the fridge until you're ready to serve. The layers look absolutely beautiful. If you're going to be transporting this, I recommend buffering it with ice packs and towels in a bag or a box. Have someone keep an eye on it while you're driving. To serve, all you need is a large spoon and individual small plates or bowls. It's going to look a little messy, but it's going to taste anything but that. A trifle is a light, delicious, fluffy dessert that's perfect for any occasion, especially during the warmer months. So it's sure to be a hit at any dessert bar. For more great ideas, head to MadeEasyDIY.com, at Weddings Made Easy on Instagram, and my YouTube. Happy desserting and happy crafting.